Is the Porsche 718 Cayman the best sports coupe reasonable money can buy? You'd have a pretty tough time arguing otherwise. For an insight into just how far ahead of its rivals this car really is, you need look no further than the fact that it's most regularly compared to its 911 stablemate, which costs about half as much again. In this 718 guys, the Cayman's classic mid-engined rear-wheel drive layout remains, but has been further developed with the addition of a more powerful flat 4 engine that claims to have reinvented this car for a new era. Add in sleeker looks that really offer up that want one factor, and you're looking at an obvious choice in its segment, a supercar in all but price tag. The four cylinder, two litre and two and a half litre engines of this 718 Cayman are a very different proposition to the flat six normally aspirated motors previously used. Now some will mourn the change in engine noise, although the latest units do have their own distinctive character when they're revved hard and they're certainly more powerful than before. Uh, the entry level model comes with 300 bhp and that's good enough to see off 0 to 62 in as little as 4.7 seconds if you go for the PDK 7 speed dual clutch automatic transmission and you use the optional launch control system. Pick that gearbox and mate it to the two and a half litre motor that's found in this Cayman S variant and that sprint can be completed in just 4.2 seconds. Top speeds, well they see the standard 7.8 Cayman uh, hits up to 168 mph uh, while this S version maxes out at 177. Even so, you can also expect to see strong efficiency returns, especially with that optional PDK Auto Box fitted. In this guise, expect combined economy of up to 40.9 mpg uh, for the smaller capacity model, along with 158 grams per kilometer of carbon dioxide emissions, or 38.7 mpg and 167 grams per kilometer for the S version. As well as being quicker than its predecessor uh, in a straight line, the 718 model also benefits from quicker feeling steering, uh, thicker anti-roll bars and a more focused suspension setup too. It all means that a Cayman remains the best handling car in its class with even greater reserves of balance and cornering control. You can embellish that even further with the optional Porsche Active Suspension Management Adaptive Damping and Porsche Torque Vectoring that maximizes traction through the bends. You're probably also going to want the optional Sport Chrono package with its selectable driving modes that alter the way the engine, the steering, the suspension and the PDK gearbox react. Pick the PDK gearbox and the Sport Chrono pack comes with launch control for Grand Prix getaways plus a sport response button that aids quick overtaking by putting the engine and the transmission into their most alert calibrations for 20 seconds. Does it look like a 911? Well, the uninitiated might think so, but visually at least, the Cayman is these days no longer a lesser, rather clumsy copy of that car. Instead, this is a different, slightly smaller, more agile looking coupe that in this 982 series form shares only its bonnet, boot and windscreen with the previous 981 generation Cayman that Porsche launched back in 2012. These headlamps, which are larger than before, get more prominence on the wings and they feature four LED daytime running lights that sit at the corners of the main bi-xenon lamp units. Also rather pretty are these slender lights that sit above those much larger air intakes. Those are there for extra cooling and they represent perhaps the most prominent visual expression of this model's new turbo engine concept. Time to focus on the cabin. Now you'll want to know what's different and at first glance, just as with the outside, the answer seems to be not a whole lot. Look a little closer though and again the changes become more apparent. The entire upper part of the dashboard has been redesigned for example, hence the elegance of these elevated air vents. But you're more likely to notice the installation of the new central PCM, Porsche Communication Management Screen, that really dominates the centre stack. As for luggage space, well, the mid-mounting of the Cayman's flat six engine has always been a big plus in this regard. OK, so your service technician might not immediately agree, but you will value the utility of having two boot options. A 150-litre area at the front, which can easily accommodate two or three squashy bags, and a further 184 litres of shallower but wider storage at the back. 
If Porsche had launched the Cayman with four cylinders from the very beginning, no one would have had anything but praise to shower on this car. The power you have is surely more important than the cylinder count, and this improved 718 Cayman is significantly faster than either of its predecessors. Beyond that, though, we've tried to show in this film why a flat four format better suits this car in terms of its responsible development, its market positioning, and even its historical context. There is a price to pay for that, of course, and just like the Cayman's other admirers, we miss in this 982 series car the sonorous howl under full throttle that so characterized the previous versions. Still, if you can afford this Porsche's premium, you'd like a fixed top model, and you are shopping in this part of the sports car segment, we think you'll absolutely want the 718 Cayman. It's the best car of its kind that money can buy. There's nothing else that needs to be said.